What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kendall. Um, on this video, I'm going to just add two weeks together. I'm going to do week seven and week eight because both those weeks only did two loads each week, especially the one week of my truck being in the shop and the second week needing for me to be home. So I'm going to just put these two weeks together, go ahead and knock it out. Um, I do appreciate everyone for watching. Appreciate for everyone who subscribed so far. Any comments, questions, just hit me up. I respond back pretty quickly when I got the time. So don't be afraid to ask a question. I always reply. So let's jump right into it. Um, for week seven, I did two loads. Um, the first load, I did hit it from West Jefferson, Ohio to Lexington, Ohio for a live load. Um, it took about two hours for my, actually I got the two hours before my appointment time. And they gave me a door right away and I waited like an hour and a half for that load. So it wasn't too bad. They actually got me out by my appointment time. Um, that load was 21,000 pounds and... I took that load 650 miles to Adersville, Georgia for a drop and hook at the Lowe's warehouse. It's a big warehouse. Um, it's out in the middle of nowhere though. Um, that was my first time actually going there. And that load paid me $1,530. So not too bad of a not too bad of a load, especially for a light load. So piece of cake. Um, my second load, I did hit it from, I did hit it over to Fairburn, Georgia for a drop and hook load. Um, that load, I think was at a DHL, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I picked that load up. Uh, that load was 11,000 pounds. So another light load. And I took that load over to Fort Pierce to the Walmart. Um, that load was 552 miles. And that load paid... Eight hundred and forty-six dollars. So, wasn't the greatest load, but I took it just because I needed to get myself back to Florida. Um, I had a, I'd had to. I'm not really sure. I think I needed. I, I had to handle something. I'm not really sure exactly what it was, but um, I got a thirty-four out of it as well while I was home. So, that week, um, the two loads total was. $2,375 after expenses. Um, my take home was $475. So, hey, I keep it real with y'all. $475 is what I took home that week. Obviously, it wasn't nothing, nothing special, but um, it happens. Every week ain't a great week, but most of my weeks are pretty good. So, that didn't really bother me. I was at home anyway. So, the next week got a little bit better. Um, I had to visit my brother that weekend, so I did another two loads just to get me right back to Florida. So the first load, I did head it home. I did head it from, uh, I believe I took that home to, I was in Tampa. So I did head it from Tampa up to Rincon, Georgia for a drop and hook pickup. That load was 35,000 pounds. I've actually done this load before, um, Real good load, real nice people. You in and out, the load is always ready. So anytime that load is on the board, I would always run it. Definitely a simple load. So um, I took that load 560 miles over to Hopkins, Kentucky for a drop and hook at the Walmart. And that load paid $1,400. So it's not a bad load. You can actually, you pick it up. It picks up on Mondays and it delivers. You got all day Tuesday to deliver it. I deliver it Tuesday morning. This is Walmart. So it's not a bad load, $1,400 for one day of work. Ain't bad, can't beat it. Uh, load two, I did head it over to Lebanon, Tennessee. It was actually at the drop yard over there. It's a real nice drop yard if you haven't been there. Simple, got bathrooms and all that stuff inside the building. Um, you do have to have a code if you do go there. You have to have a code to get into the gate and you have to have the code to get into the actual building itself if it's after hours. So make sure you have that before you go there because otherwise there's no way to get in there. It used to look like it used to be a security guard that used to be there, but they're no longer there. So you have to have that code. Um, I did find it. If you have the uh, code to put into your GPS to get there, if you look into the notes, it does have the 
code to get in the gate and the code to get into the building. If not, you're gonna have to ask your dispatcher to get you that. So um, anyway, that load was brought over. That was a relay load. So um, that load was 9,000 pounds. Um, that load was 700 miles going to Plant City, Florida for a drop and hook. And that load paid $1,873. So with those two loads, the total I made was $3,271 for the week. Not too bad of a week. After all expenses, my take home was $1,605. So $1,600 for two loads. And it got me out of Florida and got me right back to Florida so I could be home to see my brother that weekend. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Next week, week nine. I'm back on track. I think I did four loads this week. So um, I'll be back to making probably like, probably make gross like six, a little over six, I think for the four, four loads I had this week. So I'll drop that video um, probably in the next couple of days. Again, I appreciate you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace.